All right, so the video topic for today, guys, is how to increase your pull-ups. I'm assuming that you're already able to do a good couple of repetitions, and what I mean by a good couple is they can do, well, two to three repetitions as a good baseline. If you're not able to do so, but you still want to follow along with the video, feel free to do so, but pay extra attention to the first of the three systems I'll be outlining today. And yeah, if you want some extra help with your pull-ups and you're struggling to get your first currently, consider watching this video right here if you're serious about it, because although it's a quite lengthy video, it's a full guide, everything you need to know, set, reps, rest times, how to progress, how to structure all of this into your training, everything you need to know, and there's also a full guide in the description of that video, so consider watching that. Before today I'll be outlining three systems, three systems you can use to increase your pull-up numbers. Now the first system to increase your pull-ups is going to be to do the thing that you did to get your first ever pull-up. The exact same protocol, the same number of sets, the same sort of rep targets, although you know those are going to increase a bit over time because you're trying to get more reps, right? But the same exercise variations, the same progressions that you used before you could do pull-ups and you're going to just keep this up until you can slowly get more and more reps in the tank. And people might think that this is way too simple, but that's the beauty of it, because the thing you did to get to your first pull-up, however effective or ineffective it was, it did work for you, and that's why you got the pull-up. So keep it up, do the same thing, and use it as a great system to get to a good couple of more reps. The second system is EMOMS. Now an EMOM stands for every minute on the minute, and for this system, you would basically plan out a couple of minutes during your workout, we are gonna do pull-ups, every minute on the minute. You might have to scale it up a bit. It might not be that you can do one pull up every minute on the minute, but you have to do one pull up every 90 seconds per 90 seconds, or maybe you do it every two minutes on every two minutes, but you get the idea, right? Also, if you start to get better at these, you can do more than one. So for example, two pull ups every minute on the minute. Now as a base recommendation, I would start off doing EMOMs of more or less 10 minutes if you do uh, every minute on the minute, if you do every minute, or every two minutes on every two minutes, that type of system. I'll, I'll dedicate some close to 20 minutes and sort of scale it accordingly. So you can get in like 10 reps or 10 emons. And then during that time, you want to do pull-ups until you cannot do pull-ups anymore, right? So if you can do a pull-up, then you rest for, let's say you do a standard emon, one rep every minute, right? If you can do the first five reps, but then you notice that for the sixth rep, you can only get about 70% through, but you just cannot get the complete rep then as you start noticing that already in rep number five or six you plan out that okay for rep number seven you, you can feel it pretty well and, and get a good gauge of it as you're going that okay for the next one I might have to to, to use some assistance so what you can do then is rather than do complete pull-ups you can do a sort of assistant variation you can either do banded pull-ups now or you could even do negative pull-ups so you just jump up to the top of the bar and try to try to halt the descent for as long as possible or you could do isometric holds at one of the different angles or you could do sort of half reps and quarter reps and then max hang time this might lend itself to a bit of like different applications the last one because you might end up staying on the bar for quite some time if you you do like your pull up and then you do a few half reps and then do some quarter reps it might be a bit lengthy so maybe for a different system or for a different type of uh, different type of training but those are all possibilities many of you might perhaps just stick to the standard doing banded repetitions but negatives and isometric holds are also nice options to sort of be aware of and the final system you can do for increasing your pull-up reps is a greasing the groove style. Really, there is no secret to improving reps, to being able to do more, to, to lift more. It's, it just comes down to mastering the skill, to getting more used to it, to doing it more over time, doing it more frequently and doing a larger volume of it, right? Obviously, you know, don't just take this to an extreme because your body needs to rest and you need to actually adapt, have strength adaptations to this, to this load. But... That is the general idea of it, right? Like do pull-ups more frequently and do more pull-ups and you'll get better at pull-ups. And greasing the groove would simply be that you want to do pull-ups sporadically throughout your days and your weeks. With the greasing the groove system, if you have a pull-up bar, for example, at home, every time you go through your, your door frame where you have that pull-up bar mounted, you can tell yourself that you're going to do two, three pull-ups or however many you feel is adequate. One thing that's good to keep in mind as well is that if you're currently doing like, let's say five pull-ups a week, where you're doing none, then suddenly doing 10, 20, 30 pull-ups spread out over a week will be a massive improvement to what you're currently doing and your body will get more used to doing pull-ups, right? So that's worth keeping in mind. That's a good sort of, at least sort of in, the, in terms of mindset as well, because it comes down to just doing more pull-ups, sticking with it, being consistent, and, and you'll see great improvements. But yeah, the greasing the groove system, 
might be a bit difficult if you don't have access to a pull-up bar or rings or that type of thing in which case you could do it with like row variations and things that maybe you just do rows on a table that type of thing but um, if you have access to a pull-up bar and you can do it more frequently throughout the day that's absolutely a great way to just get in more reps one thing I've noticed myself though when I've been watching videos about how to increase your pull-ups or just generally tutorials when it comes to training and fitness is that there are so many different systems and exercises and moves that are floating around that it's difficult when it comes down to you in, in, the, train, in the training room, in the gym room to actually remember what the protocol was. So for that reason and because some of you might prefer to, to read these things out and, and have them physically laid out on, on, on paper and sort of guide. I've written a PDF guide detailing these three systems and I've detailed that in the description down below. So if you want a full overview of what I've covered so far today with more specific examples and with some more technique cues and you know some more added uh, information feel free to check out that in the description down below. Also if you have a family member or a friend that is struggling to improve their pull-ups consider sending them this video and doing them a solid one. Otherwise, you might enjoy some of these videos that are popping up on the screen right now. So consider watching one of those and letting the algorithm boost my channel a bit further. But without further ado, thanks for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep on training, train what you love. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.